Welcome to Keith and the Girl. I'm Keith Malley. I'm Chemda. Host of Bottoms Up with Hennessy on the Keith and the Girl Network and co-host of Kill Me Now with Judy Gold, Hennessy. Hey, aloha. How's it going, everybody? Thank you for having me on the show today. Uh, this is a true story. So Hennessy's here. Everybody has to take the hand sanitizer, right? <laughs> Makes Chemda take it in between bites. <laughs> That's not true. Right? No. I saw you eating a bagel. Be- because I didn't, I didn't sanitize my hands before I did that. Right, so you were supposed to do it then. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to her bites. I just wanted to make sure everyone got a little hand sanitizer. <laughs> Former if it's good per- enough for the hospital. It's good enough for the studio. Is what I always say. I have seven of these here. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to keep them strewn about so people are more <laughs> likely to use them. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you guys. Okay, I'm gonna put those back where they belong and. Go on, Keith. Looks like, what were you saying? Looks uh-huh. like you're playing lube roulette there. Yeah. So one of those is going to be lube, and then the other hand sanitizer. Either way, you'll have a tingly feeling. <laughs> uh, former president of Atheist United, and more importantly, the developer for Keith and the Girl, Michael hey, Khalili. That's me. That's you, buddy. That's me. I did those things. Now, you're Hemda's brother, but you're so much more than that. Explain. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so I'm glad that you uh, pitched, you started the show the right way. It's going to be about me. I hear all these topics pre-show are going to be about me. You guys are coming up with uh, different things to talk about. I like it. I like it. I think the audience is in for a really good show. I do, too. <laughs> I, uh, I saw this in July, you, you, uh, and I didn't get to talk to you about it. Having fun at Body Painting Day. So this, okay. is, a, this is in New York, I assume. And you, you body paint nude women, right? Or so, uh, or nude I, people, and then you pick the women. Yeah, so I didn't get a chance to do it. I, I was just a spectator. But okay. um, it's an annual thing, and uh, and it keeps growing every year. And uh, this is just something yeah, that does. they do in the middle of the street where uh, people are just being body painted. They're cordoned off a little bit, but anybody can watch. And there's uh, naked girls and naked dudes just getting doing, getting they, themselves painted. It's professionals that are painting them. So Michael can't just jump oh, in for 10. No, right. it's... I mean, I could do it really quick, but eventually I'll get arrested. It's right. like an art museum where the art is happening and there's bodies involved. Yeah. Yeah, so the the models apply ahead of time. Okay. But I think they had like something like a few dozens, if not a hundred models apply. And then... Um, Billy Proceda then... did it. He was one of the models. Of course he did. <laughs> this year? Yeah, 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 he oh. didn't sign up though. He just takes his clothes off and go, ladies. <laughs> uh, he stood near the area, right, naked. <laughs> Anything for an adventure. <laughs> and you get a whole spectrum of uh, body types and people, right? So you get, you oh. get. Uh, yeah, that's don't cool. start describing. You get the spectrum. We know the spectrum. But but here's here's the funny <laughs> you get, what part. What are you going to describe? Donks, <laughs> you get you know the the but <laughs> right. the and then you get the and then you, you just the get <laughs> sound effects. That didn't come from me. <laughs> but uh, but the the funniest part is when you're getting bo- they're getting body painted and then the moment comes for them to actually take off like the underwear they'll wear underwear or a bathing suit or something up until it's time uh, to to get that part no. of the body and no. so no. you sort of just see that moment where okay here we go right. and then everything is painted but like like there's a dude in spandex uh, underwear or a bathing suit or something and, uh, and then he just takes it off and he's like a leopard. With a human pelvis or something. <laughs> Does everyone clap when the underwear comes off? The dude can't be naked, right? So he was. He was naked. He was completely naked. And uh, the women not, were completely not naked. Dude. Not the dude. It's just the chicks, right? <laughs> we don't want those dudes. It was just like an Guys elephant out there. It's just there it is. Would you? Nice. Is it tough sometimes because a lady's going to take her robe off? She ends up being, you know, normal. And so you're like, well, I want to leave. That's not what I'm here for. Do you have to politely stay around for a couple of minutes? Are you looking for abnormal? I'm well, looking. I'm looking for a supermodel. Well, this is the way it was actually uh, done. It was a. Cro- it was like on the sidewalk of a street. So you're just kind of picking up your vantage point. You're you're jump. You're standing up on uh, benches right. to try to get the high ground because yeah. there's like an audience behind a fence, behind like a gate, more like, How many like those people police are barriers. Getting up on benches when you say you're everybody. getting up. Okay. That, see, uh, that everybody, would have been a yeah. good thing to invite Keith to because then you could jump on his back. Right. <laughs> and because he can already see. That's the only reason I, I want to be around Keith and have Keith at events so I could like climb wow, up on him. Wow, Michael. As a... We learned a lot today. Is it, is it weird for the ladies that one side of the fence is just crowded with people? And then maybe three ladies down, no one's there. So I think I think the way it was was it's like a good mix of people throughout the event. So it wasn't like here is a section. It was it was maybe about a quarter of a city avenue. So it was a big it was a big stretch of area. 
and it's New York City. Everyone has a type back and forth. You know what I mean? So if you got a body, you got someone who likes your body. Spectrum, hello. Mm -hmm. Everybody's beautiful, a right? Something for everyone. Yeah. No, I'm just saying people are freaks, you know? <laughs> but I, I would start at the ass, so that would be an issue for me. I would need this person to wear like assless chaps. I'm like, I always start my body paintings on the cheeks first. Right. And then go out from there. By the way, I see the ribbon on your shirt. Birthday boy. Yeah, it's my birthday almost. When well, is it's my birthday month. It's Are what up, Virgo birthday month. A shout out to Maricela. Shout out to Kyle Thompson and all my other Virgos. Okay. Uh, and the new uh, Sheppy Jr. Oh, yeah. Scoop too. Oh, yeah. Shep Jr. Or Andrew Jr. Olivia right. gave birth. I don't. I didn't know we were allowed to do that. I did. You can just shout it out, it seems. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, congrats. It Thank wasn't you. me. <laughs> oh, were we not supposed oh, to yeah, say Oh, yeah, so it's my I birthday. I don't know. I'm okay. sure it's fine. So it's a girl? Whatever. They probably no. already twatted it. It's a boy for now. Right. Yeah. Boy for now. Boy Nephew for now. For now. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so progressive. I will not acknowledge the sex people give their kids. That's very progressive. Thank you. I won't even acknowledge the kid. You right. just let me know when you want to be acknowledged. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't even know. It's a, it's an elephant. It could be anything. I don't know. Could well, be a dog nowadays. Who am I to say? Shout out to my boy, Woof Woof. You know who I'm talking about. All uh, right. Kyle. Yeah, right. Uh, is he a Virgo? Because I'm not mentioning him. <laughs> I see a picture of the two of you, Hemden and Hennessy, mm -hmm. on Michael's roof. Police are trying to get you down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was a, another night. It's an early birthday dinner. Yeah, it was a surprise. It was really nice. How, how do you surprise, like, on the roof? Let's just chill on this roof. We're never on top. Oh. Well, no, I think I did say, okay, we're going to do something tonight for your birthday. And he was like, oh, it's not my birthday. I'm like, no, surprise, it is your birthday. Today's your birthday. <laughs> right. And so I didn't say that. I was, I was thinking about <laughs> checking into work that day. Remember? I know, but then you got pushed. And then I got pushed. So I didn't end up where I didn't get called into work. So right. that was my only qualm. I, 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 don't, I haven't celebrated my birthday on September 11th for a while. Right. So then <laughs> so I'm like, this is the perfect time, right? Here's the thing. I did not plan this as well as I wanted to because I wasn't sure when I would be able to 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 plan it and to do it because I wasn't sure with the biopsy results and the MRI results. So uh, I found this day, and I had already spoken to Michael and Maricela about this before. The idea was to use their roof access, which we're not allowed to technically use, but to to set up a chair and table, uh, two chairs and a table. You find now with cancer, you're breaking all the rules. Who cares? <laughs> it's not that important a roof. I'll go on it if I want. <laughs> Well, I always try to get Hemda up on the roof when we're in the city. If we oh, want to yeah. smoke a joint or something, I'm like, let's just get through one of these doors. Like when a delivery guy goes in, just like going with him and walk up to the roof. And because most of them are open, they have a fire thing. But then you see cigarette butts up there and chairs and grass and shit. But it's like his favorite thing. All it is is like, hey, we have an hour to kill. Like, do you want to go to some cafe spot or something and he goes want to go see if there's a roof <laughs> <laughs> well i mean they're no, like, they're no. like quiet. It up? it's all you know you have a no, nice view of the city you can smoke you're alone it's peaceful it's nice so anyway um so so i thought okay so for the birthday i got to do something for, with a roof right but i didn't know anything about this yeah i just knew a cab was gonna pick me up at a certain time and me come to somewhere so at that certain time uh the cab came and picked me up and did you get in it? I did get in it. <laughs> um, was it. Was it driving south or north to Michael's house? Ah, am I that specific with things? You like detail. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm going to work on that. <laughs> so I didn't close the door right the first time, but then I closed it right. Uh, I, that's probably like training or some shit. That's like an actor-y thing, right? Is that, or no, is that a Winkler thing? Anyway. So it's an ADD thing. Cab picks me up. We get there. I know. I'm trying to stay on track. So I like am holding every rung of the story. <laughs> so I can get through it. I think that's what it is. All right, everyone. We'll get through this together. So the cab takes me over around toward Michael's place. I knew the place was going to be around toward Michael's place because I guessed it that earlier. I'm like, is it more toward the studio, toward Michael's, or towards... I'm doing it again. I think it's Michael's, right? Fuck. Anyway, yeah. so we pull <laughs> up in like front of Michael's house. I just like that you guys keep house, saying Michael. Me? And I'm like, yeah, you fucking... Um, we pull up in front of Michael's uh, uh, place, and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe we're having a dinner here. Maybe she cooked something, you know? Right. Maybe we're having a double date, you know? Maybe we're leaving from Michael's, saying hi first. 
maybe what, it's around the corner. What else could it be? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, maybe it's trap. What about uh, so, maybe you're just hanging with Maricela? That's it. We just uh, so maybe it's just me and Maricela, and I'm like, wow, they stood us up. That's weird. <laughs> uh, I guess let's go to an arcade or something. Let's go to your roof. Um, so we get there, and um, we pass. Uh, we go up the stairs. We pass Michael and Maricela's apartment, and come just like you know. I thought, oh, maybe it's one of those like, oh, maybe she's finally doing that thing where we like meet up and she's pretending it's her apartment. We don't know each other, and you know whatever. And we're fucking my uh, brother's bed. Yeah. And- yeah. Be. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. Uh, maybe the couch, maybe the floor. It doesn't matter. So um, we, she, we, sir, we pass his apartment. And she opens up the door to the roof, and there's this really nice little table set up with plates and chips and salsa and, like, a little centerpiece with a flower and, bal- well, balloons. Um, Michael brought out later, but um, it was so nice. And it was right there, like, feet in front of the, like, you know, a couple yards of, I'm doing it again. And anyway, so we sit down, and the sky is already turning a million different colors because she picked the perfect time, right? And so it's just dusk, and the sky is all beautiful. And am I missing anything? How many you want to do the behind the scenes? <laughs> First of so all, far? there's no way you're missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so what is a, what is this great meal that she has for you? And I really am trying to be more broad right now as I tell this. You're doing great. Well, so here's here's the thing. And by the way, be more man, right? I, Less broad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's that's the tricky part. Here's what was supposed to happen, right? As we passed Michael and Maricela's house, I rang the doorbell. No, to- you didn't. Yes, I did. I specifically like all nope. the way. You probably rang my neighbors. No, I know where you live. Why do you think it took me so long to get up there? I don't know. See, that's the thing. So I rang the doorbell, and what's right. supposed to happen is that means we're just about to hit the roof and 30 seconds later come up with the seltzer and the menus, right? So here I am trying to make, like, normal <laughs> chit-chat, being a fucking right. weirdo because I don't want to start any, like, long story, but I'm like, and I don't want to explain what's happening, but I... I'm just stuck in this middle place. I'm like, any minute he's going to open the door. Right. So so me and Hamner are having nice conversation. Horrible conversation. I'm enjoying conversation. the um, <laughs> scenery. We so this spark is up a, roof, a blunt. Huh? Yeah, no, yeah. I'm be- just like, oh, let's smoke weed. Something. Something has to happen. And then I think I'm being clever. So I text Michael and Maricel. Where are you guys? How is this already blowing up? <laughs> Anytime you're ready, I think is what you said. Anytime. You, you hit the wrong button. We're standing. We're... we're, we're Maricela and I are just sitting there waiting, like, any moment now, she's going to ring it. Maybe okay. they're just sitting downstairs and decided to talk for a bit. So then I guess so. they got the text. Did you get the text? She got the text. I wasn't. I didn't have my phone anywhere near oh, me. because Oh, I'm just, good. That's I'm, a great idea. Well, I'm standing next to the damn uh, <laughs> bell. I got instructions. The buzzer rings. You wait two minutes, and then you come up and meet us. I Those were the instructions I got. Off from little old me. <laughs> if I was told to have a phone... <laughs> then I would have had one. If I had the phone, I would have gotten distracted. Uh, my ADD kicks in. I would have uh, gone I mean, done something whatever. else. So I'm like, fine. We're like the fault. Keystone <laughs> Cops. Shout out to Libby for using that reference earlier. I knew what you were talking about. So he comes. He comes out. <laughs> this is great. So <laughs> he gives us a menu each uh-huh. and a seltzer for you know that's what waiters do. They come out and they give you water. That's and, true. And, <laughs> they do, right? He, and then, he pours two glasses of seltzer. I thought we were having a nice conversation. Anyway, so <laughs> then he hands us two menus, Michael, and it's two Michael, Michael, our waiter. Oh uh, well, well, first he introduces. He says, "Thank you for coming to M and M's," uh, and <laughs> Michael you know, Maricelis. Yeah. Yes. And then he proceeds to tell us about the franchise and how good it's been doing. And he's telling me this about, you know. This is right after, by the way. As soon as Michael walks in. And I'm loving it. I'm, I'm like playing uh, along with the whole thing. As soon oh, yeah. as Michael walks in, I'm like, you don't know him. Because it's like, don't, don't be like, oh, your brother's here. Pull up a chair. You don't know him. Right. This, I'm trying to set this fucking thing but up. But it's a friendly you restaurant. That. You don't have to know me, but this restaurant is you a very home-style restaurant. I spoke restaurant. to him like I would have spoken to any so, waiter like, talking to me that much. We have a really chill atmosphere. I don't know why you guys came in so uptight. Like, Hennessy was there with the right attitude. Come there. You're, you're getting all upset. You're there to relax, right? It was so cute. This was like a beachside. He was talking for five minutes. Oh, my God. She was going crazy. About this adorable. fucking franchise that he's making up because <laughs> he wanted to har-har. You have Taco Bell menus in your hand. So I didn't and get I'm to like, that part. Dude, like, I got this. Spoiler like, alert. Well, he's... Th- oh, he started it. it. Get Mom. it. It's a franchise, but you're here. Get it? I'm like... 
Shut up, you well, cock is, blocking that's the fuck. Flag, that's a flagship restaurant. The worst. The worst the waiter. Restaurant. So finally I is go. It, is and it? then she asked me follow-up questions. I'm sorry. I got oh follow-up God. questions. I wanted to have the entire experience. You, uh, you, you engaged. Oh. You were engaging. I, you, asking, I thought it was part of it. Now, wouldn't that be rude if I just suddenly just shut you down? That's, you that's... asked us for Yelp reviews. Well, yeah. I think it's appropriate. <laughs> Like in the beginning of the goddamn meal, like well, I wanted to set an expectation of what I. Want but first, he told us like, yeah, how 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 poor the business was doing because they only have that one table, but it's so specialized because it's just that one table. But but before he was telling me that his franchises were really making a lot of money, and he's like, well, yeah, they're doing good. Why you know? all of this? Why? Yeah, I got the history. I got the okay. lowdown. So anyway, then he comes. So he leaves again, and he comes up a little bit later. You know, Hamna and I are okay. How cool was it? That the freaking menu is Taco Bell. Let me explain. I didn't get to that. Okay. Fucking. And now we're at that. So, spoiler <laughs> alert, whatever. Um, so we're spoken. We're when did you think it'd come roof. up? We're Michael find comes out. up and hands us two menus. And I'm like, what, what could menus? this possibly be? And guess what it was? It was Taco like Bell. Like a nice re- Taco Bell. Because if you've heard Hold our on. past birthday experiences... You know that after you don't like good stuff. My fancy <laughs> dinner, I enjoy to wash it down with some Taco Bell, <laughs> just because it's my birthday and I don't Always. like to try to eat that stuff on normal days. Uh, but I will drop such a beautiful load of money on this gorgeous dinner, like. Oh, I've always wanted to go, what was one of them, to the Russian tea room. Right. So I'm like, done, Russian tea room. And then she took birthday. me to this really fancy Hawaiian joint once. Hawaiian, like, whatever, fancy everything. And then on the way home, oh, can we go to that drive through And I'm like, oh, my God, I just spent a couple hundred dollars on dinner. Of course, yes. You this know time, the fancy meals are always small. This time we're cutting out the middleman. No fancy dinner. It was so cute. Taco Bell. Aw, I like the fancy dinners. I really do, and I appreciate them. Do you understand Michael would have went away if you tipped him ahead of time? That's the secret. I said that. I said that, and uh, Hemda wasn't down for that. But what's interesting, though, is Hemda's attitude towards the waiters. is like, come here, give us our menus, and then go. Get out of here. Stop distracting us. Sorry if I like to talk to to other human beings and stuff. Oh, my God. Honestly, at some point, I go... Please leave. You said. Yeah, you said. It was very funny. And then Lauren asked me an, another follow up question. It, it was like, did, did, did he not ask me a follow up question after you said I'm please? I'm sure leave? he did because yeah. you both are crazy. It was like uh, Lenny and Squiggy. It was hilarious. Yes, everyone's Shout favorite out Laverne neighbors. And Shirley. Is it odd that neither of the customers asked what you do when you're not a waiter? <laughs> What's your real goal? <laughs> you seem pretty passionate about that restaurant. Well, I was I was the owner of the place, yeah. so that is, and, and a franchise owner. So anyway, and his wife's Mexican, so this authentic Mexican food ended up coming up, and um, uh, I got I picked the uh, Supreme Taco box so that we can just like walk around right. with our tacos, smoking on the roof. And it was a dream come true. Michael hooked up. Um, he didn't want to have like a candle. On the roof, right? Like, so they you wouldn't let me have a... any candles. I'm sorry, my roof isn't finished. It's like tar roof. This that's is like every a... roof in New York. Yeah, I don't want candles up there. That's that's gonna burn or some fire. No, that's... they were so anal about what I could and couldn't You're have ridiculous. on the roof. Well, but did I totally you notice get the CPR choking sign? Yeah, we did notice that, <laughs> and the do not enter roof sign. Um, but no, he hooked up uh, the iPhone light. He turned on the um, flashlight and okay. Put... So he, first of all, he got his phone. And no, it was Hemda's phone. Okay. And put a balloon on it and taped it to it. And it was kind of this iridescent lamp. Okay. It's like diffuse the light. It Give it was atmosphere. the nicest trailer trash <laughs> birthday dinner I could ever have wished for. So Hennessy would write on this menu and then you would go out and literally get it? I went, uh, yeah, I walked like a quarter mile to go get it. Because I was and wondering, back. So I was wondering mile. if uh, like all that wasted food was downstairs that she didn't order. <laughs> right. I, I ordered like everything on that menu. Right. Just, But that was that was actually Hamda's plan. Uh, I'm going to spoil it a little yeah. bit now. But I said, don't worry about dessert. Don't ask him about dessert. That's not the time. You, uh, Lauren uh, Hennessy even started to ask uh, for dessert. He's like, nope, we're not doing that right now because I already had the instructions. Get every single type of dessert that they had. And then you'll bring it up whenever they have those it. Cinnabon uh, little jizz balls. Those are the best. Except uh, this this was a, the Express Taco Bell, so they didn't have all the <laughs> accoutrements. <laughs> yeah. By the way, every single dessert means three desserts. Right. <laughs> and what I want, I wanted it to be cool. Like they had cinnasticks, and there was coffee, and I dipped the cinnasticks in the coffee. 
yeah, oh, so here was the plan. I said, it'll probably take us a while, so when we're ready for dessert, that's why I wanted to have it ahead of time. When we're ready, I'll text you, and that's when you bring the dessert, one coffee, one tea. Now, all of a sudden, Michael's up there. Oh, yeah, we were just smoking, like... Oh, did I text you, or are you just here with dessert randomly? I guess you're here. I thought it was all timed. No. I thought it was all timed out. had no idea you were stressing the whole time. No, did you forget <laughs> that part? I guess kind so. Kind of flattering. Yeah. <laughs> What, you, you were supposed to text me specifically? Didn't you say, like, after a while, just come up with dessert? No. Tee hee, tee hee. Can you picture that, him? That I don't remember. Can you picture him just saying, after a while, whenever it feels <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Everything was supposed to be timed. Yeah. You did a great job. No, we thought we were actually Everybody. late with the coffee. Marisol we thought we were going to be late with the coffee and. Uh, we were, we were a scrambling. Moment. I was scrambling to get the tea. Oh, really? Yeah, because I thought I was running late uh, with that. I thought we, because I, I spaced out on it. I thought, <laughs> like, I did have to, like, think about it, the timing of it on my own. Because like, Mike, shit, what, we well, got to make coffee. Up, well, fucked up Mike was he's downstairs. He's pressing a pillow like it's a point of service <laughs> machine. His phone. <laughs> How do How I substitute jizz balls? They <laughs> want jizz balls. That was actually the interaction at the actual Taco Bell. So there was some new guy there trying right. to take the menu because uh, the order was half with sour cream, half without. And so I think, did we end up getting half the literal taco had sour cream and the other <laughs> it half looked of like the literal that. taco It looked not? like that, but we figured it out. Okay. Did you hand the menu in to the Taco Bell? Uh, no, I had it all written down on my phone okay. like a pro. I did uh, not know. It, this thing was eight pages long. I didn't know Taco Bell had so many items. I mean, it's all the same item in different variations and forms, but well, I because, didn't know the combinations were endless like that. Because we printed it from the internet, and so they're literally naming like Sprite, Coca-Cola. Right. But everything they've had from 1985. It was like yeah. six pages. Oh, I still have it for you guys for your scrapbook oh, or something. Thank you. you asked me Thank to you. Save it. I did. That was me. Yeah. I also have the flower that was on our table. Well, this Ocean's Eleven experiment was a success, it sounds <laughs> Such like. A success. Well, did you give me the five star rating or what? Yeah, oh, six yeah. stars. Six stars, that's right. We had to call Yelp to get an extra star at the site just he's for He's telling this. me about this calling of Yelp to get the six star because he's campaigning for a six star. He's for what kind of stupid conversation is that? He's one of those waiters with all the flair. Oh, yeah, he's got all the flair, <laughs> yes. and he flips bottles behind the bar. <laughs> Even though he doesn't know how to catch. Now I want I want the audience to There's sort of occasional take crash. a second here, right, and uh -huh. hear all this frustration. Not a thank you, uh -huh. not one thank you. I loved it. Not, uh -huh. not all that all that work uh -huh. on my part too to make a wonderful birthday. We do closed down the restaurant and took out all the other tables uh -huh. just for you guys <laughs> for that one special night. I thought it was a specialty one table restaurant. You it said. was that night. It was because oh. we had to cancel a lot of other reservations. It was a Friday night. Wow. Those are busy nights for us. Before <laughs> before the big weekend, it was a three day weekend. Wow, Those this are, whole thing, a... this whole thing happening in front of us while I'm having a romantic. Time. It's a beautiful city view. Right? Yeah, we could see it. Yeah. That was beautiful. <laughs> I even called ahead and had the Empire State Building he's, change. He's saying this shit. I'm not kidding. <laughs> to red, white, and blue for Patriot Day, which is my actual birthday. Yeah. Right. He I, was. This is the conversation that they were having. Right. It and used to be called Day of Terror, for those of you who don't know. It's Patriot Day also. now. And I, I kept getting engaged, so why am I leaving? This is fun <laughs> for me, too. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> then I post. I posted online. You should have had Maricela do that. So you should have, if you... I posted just us, like, look at us. We did a, like, romantic thing. <laughs> and Michael goes, no, this is the right picture to post. And he posts the one with us and him. <laughs> so, wait, let's, let's get it straight, though. First, so you ask me as a waiter, experience. right? Because you constantly want to look down on me, apparently, as the waiter. <laughs> There's this constant, like, sort of snideness to it, I Who think. Who raised you? Right, where it's just like, you are the waiter. Drop the menu off. Give us the water and go. You're just a simple waiter. It's like... <laughs> Right? This is, are we so not cute. hearing that that is what, what you wanted? Like, Did I look stressed out? Waiter. You look like two bro like a brother and a sister being like kids. <laughs> so she, so uh, they, they and hand she the waiter the phone. Uh, can you please, waiter, servant, take this photo right. of us? Because you're, you know. So I was like, yeah, but I'm human too. I'm part of this experience. So I take a selfie with the three, I, with the three of them. <laughs> With the so the three of us first, I got a picture of myself with the beautiful background because that was true. a nice, yes, sure. that was a nice city view. No, we'll just sit here. <laughs> We're not doing anything. This is see, this is more detail than 
than it, me, right? It does sound like I'm just trying to gauge how bad I am. So, so if I'm to post the one with just the two of you guys, the beautiful one that I took with the city in the background, right? That was my suggestion too, right? You guys wanted just the building, so that was the city in the background. No, Is it worse or better? And then, and then in the comments, I say, what? <laughs> you, you, you didn't post the best one. I do notice Henda saying waiter with a hard R. Right. <laughs> so it seems a little derogatory. It does. Yeah. It's a hard time. If, we, if you guys are watching this video on YouTube, right, we're posting these videos on YouTube, just watch Hemda's camera as she's getting disgusted by the help that actually wants to engage with people. Well, Look at your face. I, I thought she was just trying to, um, you know, impress me. Is this and you... she did. Well, <laughs> with a chalupa. Uh, with a cheesy gordita crunch. What? <laughs> Hold the Baja sauce. Did, was there a check? Huh. Nope. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah. Like, we walked a... out on the check. <laughs> <laughs> they kept like they kept trying to hide every time I'd come up there. Yeah, we did. Like, we I we, we the... jumped onto the roof next door. Like, they skipped out on the bill. <laughs> like, they're trying to duck me. No, okay. Don't worry, guys. I, I got your deposit. I got your credit card number. So Was Maricela there that day? She, she was the she, cook. She, yeah, she was helping. Why wouldn't Maricela be at the Taco Bell and then you text Maricela the order and... The order will come up right away. Those weren't the instructions that we got. <laughs> Your restaurant doesn't think for itself. <laughs> it wasn't the instructions that we got. We have a procedure. Every restaurant that's successful has a procedure that you they follow. You know what? It would have gotten in fine time if you just shut the fuck up and go put it in, the order this. in. This is this. Go put the order in. Stop engaging. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, it was uh, reciprocal. Fight over me. Fight over me. Fight over me. But I'm, I'm glad I was part of the wonderful oh, birthday party. Just Me too. Still. That was really special. That was a really special part. And it, the only sad part was that I just saw Maricela right at the end. And it was like, oh, I missed her after we left for some reason. She was part of the uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, magic because press. I was thinking about her being down there the whole time. You know what I mean? I'm just like in her head. And I'm, seeing my, I'm like, hey, I keep expecting her to like come up. No, and then I just said no, bye. No, romantic. No. Yeah. No. But she's stuck in that hot kitchen. <laughs> yeah, so no, small. slaving away. Slaving away. <laughs> With those stupid little squirts of food. Oh, God. <laughs> well, let's not think about that. We had right? really? squirts of food later, didn't we? Ugh, taco? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, but it's funny. <laughs> Hennessy's all worried about hand sanitizer. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that was our last meal. <laughs> it's been organic and fruit from then on. All right. Uh, by the way, speaking of which, let me mention keithandthegirl.com slash video. It's a free video feed. Make sure you subscribe. Give it those six stars, right? <laughs> but uh, we talk about it all on there. We talk to Doug Stanhope, Gilbert Gottfried, Hemda's Tumor. Everything's there. Libby's doing this What's My Name show where Libby interviews Hemda. And right now there's two episodes specifically about what she's going through with this tumor. And I'll tell you what, it's a tearjerker. I mean, what could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so take a look, and there's some stuff I want to talk about that I heard. But keithandthegirl.com slash video. Did uh, you cry? Did I cry? He's saving them, remember? Right, 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 I'm right, saving right. them until you get the MRI results, which is just cra- an X-ray. Then it's a, a CAT scan. Then it's an just jump to the end. Yeah, I agree. I know. When, when you, if there's a mass in my body, we can go to the expensive one right mm-hmm, away. Mm-hmm. You guys are doing it to yourselves, you know? Uh, do you have, you have a doctor that's in charge now, right? Because uh, like, sometimes got- you... S- Sometimes you see these doctors, you, you don't know who's going to stay in your life. Do you, ha- you have somebody set? Well, we have someone right now that's guiding us through the process. And whether or not that means we go to Sloan Kettering or we stay at that hospital, um, he's going to help us find a team of people that are specialists and that have worked on thymoma cancer cases before. And um, he is going to yeah help us find the best he's in charge kind of, of way right of now. doing things. And then we're going to put together a team. And so that team will consist of different, you know, doctors and things so that we can have different people um, from different walks of life. The assassin, Mm -hmm. the ladies man. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you know, an integrative uh, someone that also uh, is integrative medicine. Yeah. Uh, Well, the The old timer. Well, it's specialists. So now still got it (laughs) when it's time for chemo, you get the chemo guy. And yeah. that person knows exactly what the, that needs to happen. But with. also specifically with this, because the disease is so rare, they usually have a team of experts so that they have different points of view and so that they have second and third opinions and they can develop a way to go about 
um, you know, battling it because you've got to battle it from different sides. It's, you know, uh, cancer is not just one thing and then it's gone. It's like a bunch of different things. Do it is good that uh, it's so 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 dangerous that you do have multiple doctors. Mm. You know what I mean. So the doctors will they won't fuck o- around. They won't fuck around. They'll look over each other. But you like when I was a waiter, for example, if I would shit in somebody's food, believe me, it's a one person operation. <laughs> Yeah. If, if there was another waiter on duty, that never would have happened. We it, don't egg each other on like you would think. You got to be professional when others are around. As a fellow waiter. Yes. <laughs> as a fellow pro in this business. Oh, God, I'm dead. What? <laughs> yeah, no I one's going to shit and come to his chest. <laughs> Do uh, Now, you, you have the hand sanitizer. Danny has cancer in the back. Uh, you have uh, the hand sanitizers, but you get nervous when you see people hug Hemda. Hemda's a hugger. That baby could pop any day. No, I'm not um, nervous about that. All right. I think we're we're doing our best to keep her immune system, you know, in good working right. order and working a little overtime too. All right. Every day, every day on the show now, we will have Kenda sing a note and see how long she can go, <laughs> and uh, we'll see if it gets better, worse, or the same. That's how we uh, stay. So it's going to be a C sharp. <laughs> I don't have my harmonica here, but we'll do it another time. Then. Mm. But it, it's, it's weird that when you go to the hospital, they don't have a pamphlet for everything. For any kind of cancer, there should be a pamphlet. You have this kind. Of, it doesn't matter if it's one in a million. Oh, God, I've read everything there is on this. Yeah, but just have a pamphlet. Yeah, but you're kind of guessing as you're looking at it online. Just one fuck, three pages. What to maybe expect? I think I'm... I'm really fucking educated on this now. But yeah. they would only have, like, two pamphlets for my thing. Like... There's, oh, we found one here. There's right, not right. a lot of, on this disease yet because there's no mass clinical studies and things because it's so rare. That's so stupid. What the fuck year is this? You Can, heard it here first. Oh, Hemda, the queen of rarity. <laughs> Good yeah. for her. What did I do? <laughs> no, nothing. I'm just saying. It had to be different. No, I'm just saying Your stupid. parents were right. <laughs> what the fuck? So if you have any form of cancer, they don't have an answer by now? Answer for cancer. Okay, I guess you read that. But what I'm saying is, uh-huh. it's dumb. Put your doctor on the phone. I'm angry. Well, now, but once we get the MRI, then we know everything, right? Like Then that's... we know if it's fused to the heart or lung or if it's self-encapsulated or if it has spread to any other parts of her bone or organs. When you play a cool uh, in the hospital, see, I, see me, I, ne- I never make a big deal of it. Doctors think I'm one of these test subjects that the center sent to trick them Aww. because I'm, I'm always so calm. Because you look like a big rat. You're like... <laughs> you're a mystery shopper? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, what, what's your pain? And I'm like, uh, it's uh, uh, 10 or I wouldn't have left my house and be here. Right. And they're like, well, you're not screaming like an idiot. Yeah, I'm you like, have to act it out. Yeah. You're reading the script, but you're not... Yeah, yeah. I have that, too, a little bit. I'm the biggest frown face on your picture thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm a grown adult. I'm, I'm what needs to get a team here so that you don't yeah. fuck up on your own and shit in my stomach. I circle the frowniest, frowniest face at number 10, and then I put flames on it, and I drop vomit lines. And I'm like, that's how bad I hurt. Oh, you got to do vomit lines. Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's a big thing. Hemd is probably most scared of throwing up from chemo because mm-hmm. you're not a throw-upper. Mm. You're going to learn how great it is to throw up. You get a chip in the wrong pipe, bleh, done. Little uh, acid reflux solved in a heartbeat. Oh, this is already making me nervous. It yeah. gives you more acid le- reflux. You know up, what? Right? Here's the thing. I am uh, I'm giving her things to level out her pH um, so that you know the acid reflux won't be bad. We're doing things preemptively. Um, so that you know, we're strengthening her body, her immune system, her the acids in her body, um, the things that that feed cancer. We're trying to level those out naturally, and and uh, we're going to continue to do that with whatever she has going on. And also, I've got loads of cannabis <laughs> con- concentrated cannabis and RSO oil going through her system that will really help with uh, nausea and any kind of something like that. I mean, she's got a, she's gotten a apothecary of you know weed at, at her disposal so the nausea you know we'll we'll take care of that can you just mix in the oil with the chemo as it flows in just like have a tap in there <laughs> uh so yeah like, there is a form that you can do intravenously but mm, unfortunately we can't do that here yet kind of gets her biopsy doctor says why didn't you come in earlier 
Because I'm a moron. <laughs> I'm like real dumb. Because <laughs> I was like, my health for what? Yeah. So I decided to do it a week later. <laughs> you fucking moron. And then when do I get the results since it sounds so uh, important? Oh, in another week. Okay, good talk. Any pamphlets? I no, why you. would you? <laughs> yeah, they, the uh, MRI's on Wednesday night. And originally they were like, that, that the results come very quickly for that, an hour or two. But I spoke to them on the phone today. The results come in the next day. Oh, wait. I thought you was Thursday that you were doing the MRI. So it's now Wednesday. I should have told everybody Thursday. Because once you tell everybody Wednesday, then all the texts come in on Wednesday. Well, it's, yeah, don't text them tomorrow. No. Um, it's Wednesday but, night. Uh, yeah, it's tomorrow night. And, um, but if you we'll know see. that the results come in on Thursday, then all the texts will come in on Thursday. But you yeah. have a day to prepare. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, she's the last appointment, which is why we might get the test results the next right. day, because mm-hmm. no one wants to stay after work. Do you find it funny that I, I'm imagining people will say, uh, you know, oh, did you, uh, you got the biopsy, mm-hmm. as if anybody knows what any of these words are. Mm-hmm. They really, do you know what I mean? Like, I had knee surgery, and they go, what kind of knee surgery? And I'm like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> knee surgery for a better. And they're like, no, I care what kind. They go, was it uh, orthoscopic? I go, yeah. They go, oh, okay. That's not an answer. That's how you cut open the knee. Tiny, <laughs> microscopic. That, that, that didn't, I didn't tell you a fucking thing just now, but you're like, oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I've heard that word. The end. Yeah, I asked. I know people don't know what it is because I went out the other day and I saw a few people that I knew. Right. Don't want to call you guys out by name, but you should probably stop <clears throat> hugging me like it's the last time we're going to ever hug. <laughs> right. They look at me like... Like I'm at my own funeral. You're not gonna like, die. Why well, didn't think I was? I know. They're just like, oh hey, oh hug. Right. And I'm like, <laughs> did it, I, I no. like. They're like, did, did it get in your lymph nodes? And you just want to say, what are they? <laughs> I don't. It's words I heard. <laughs> you don't want it in there. Okay. <laughs> I'll try not to put it in there. That sounds good. <laughs> and th- and then people tell you. You know, uh, okay, this is bad uh, what you got, but, I mean, let's be honest. uh, You can get uh, hit by a bus. If you knew that I can be hit by a bus all these days of my life, why weren't you this concerned as you are with a tumor? You know, if we really could be hit by a bus tomorrow, give me a call and say something nice. Where's the hug? Yeah. I'm not gonna, where's my lasagna? I could be hit by a bus tomorrow. If you have a friend that's accident prone, you might want to give them a call. (laughs) Before it's too late. Right. If they live in a big city, especially. How are you holding up, Penny? That's what's more important. I fucking don't know. I'm like, just trying. You want to be, you want to be the person. You want to be the one saving the day, right? No, I want her to be the healthiest and strongest as she possibly can. Good answer. uh, You could only pick one. The most comfortable (laughs) through this. You'd rather (laughs) she lived. Then you get uh, carried around the football field. Yeah. All right. I follow. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, do Thank you, you. Do you get nervous that you're making Hemda more nervous? Um. With all these uh, pills and potions and reading up. I mean, I there. You know, I tried to. You invented a new cannabis oil. Tell her about. I know I didn't invent it. Rick Simpson. <laughs> thank you. Um. Shout out to Rick Simpson. Uh, At four sixty two Main Street, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. officer. <laughs> <laughs> Google them GTS. I coined that for the record. Um, I no, I, I don't know. Am I making you nervous with this stuff? I just yeah. I want to have an awareness of it. I don't want it to be pushed to the back of our minds. I want us to recognize it and be able to think about it so that we can like you think she'll forget target it. No, but you know it 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 can when you try to forget about things and you just push them out of the way it, it comes up and it can be uh, a little traumatizing so i think just looking at it realistically and seeing what the best you know i'm just trying to focus on great the best job. possible he's making me go outside but then all of a sudden yesterday there was like a weird concoction in a mug in front of me mm-hmm. and he's like okay from now on you're drinking one of those every day <laughs> And my and I smelled it, and I go, probably not. <laughs> I'd rather drink the hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, she started pumping hand sanitizer in her mouth. I'm like, no, no. I'm like, no, probably not. And he goes, yeah, probably yes. You're going to have to do it. All right, ready, set, go. I'm like, no, I don't know. Remember when there was a thing not too long ago, kids would drink hand sanitizer? Yeah. No. Well, don't, like, what? to get, to get high. What the fuck? 
What yeah, the fuck? Because there's alcohol in it. Look, I'm looking yeah. right here. Ten uh, percent rum. <laughs> you know, you can go and buy food grade isopropyl alcohol from Dwayne Not Reed. Kids. It'd probably be, be better. Yeah, kids. Anyone. Oh right, right. Probably well, be better for you. In though. rehab clinics, there was some dude that drank a bunch of uh, mouthwash. Is a mouth, thing. Mouthwash is a big thing. Well, it's so delicious. It's like peppermint schnapps. <laughs> <laughs> and so they tell him that, you know, it's not the breast cancer. It's not lung. It's not colon. Those would be the easy ones. Yeah. <laughs> Just Sharon. Bye. Yeah. Just Sharon. You're a superstar. And I also heard this, Hemda, by the way. This is your fault. You're saying it's a one in a million chance. It's a what? one in 1.5 million queen of attention. One in a million. So that means there are 300... 300 people in America that get it. Maybe, maybe a, what? 1. 1. 5. 1.5 in a million. 400 people. 1.5 in a million. Oh. 349 oh, okay. I see. People. That makes more sense. I thought you were saying 1.5 million. He did, but okay. I corrected it. I, I wasn't going to. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> She's so good at math. Hemda, it's a shame when good people get something like this. Hemda's so ca- By the way, this is how caring Hemda is. Oh, no. I don't want this weird roast. It was. <laughs> it, it, it's a tumor that was probably came w- with her when she was born. <laughs> That's how caring she carried it around. She's like, I'm I don't, like, I don't Jesus. want any, Yeah, I don't want anybody to be sad. I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna raise this tumor inside me slowly this over decades. Straight up Green Mile, right? Like yeah. you take in everybody else's crap. Well, the problem is, I kept. You know, my whole thing was like, how do I make the world better? I forgot to think, how do I make me better? You're supposed to pray for the right things, I hear. Uh, Hennessy, I hear that you invite people over your house, mm-hmm. for, uh, and then you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I need a minute to gather myself. Uh, also, you people came. One mi- I need a minute. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, I, I find it hard to like hold conversation lately. Aw, oh, little munchkin face. Because you're thinking about hunting inside, you mean? I'm just like busy reading. Everything I can about. Is that driving you crazy? Do you think you should not read so much? Mm, or I what think choice it's do you have? making me feel better. It's giving me, you know, it's giving us uh, a lot of information and knowledge that I think a lot of people don't have when they go into a situation like this. Would you find it self-centered if you saw a, uh, there's got to be al type of things for this, right? Grievers. I, mean, I have a therapist. Grievers. You're the worst at this. Pre-grievers. I'm sure they have a name for it. Pre-grievers. I mean, like, I don't think she's gonna die. I just. I'm you not know, saying I that, but if they... you're having a tough time, you're having a tough time. Yeah, I mean, that's another reason. Don't why let her do this I to you. I enjoy having friends over. It's just having other bodies there is really helpful and very healing yeah. and like warm ones, even if they're not. But also, uh, if you know our friends, uh, you know that. If we're all together, you pr- I I at least can't get a word in edgewise. So is that good? That's another thing. So I listen to it like a podcast from the <laughs> other room sometimes, <laughs> while I'm you know kind of trying to distract my mind with other things. So it is helpful to me, and I'm sorry if I come off as rude by doing that. I don't mean it. It it helps me. I love it because you're doing laundry the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, all right, good job. That's so weird. Thanks, it's, Keith. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your don't, fault. Don't don't ah gets it's me every not your time. Fault. <laughs> you got a juicer for Hemda, right? I did. Are you making juice with it? That's the hard part. We're mm-hmm. having a juice every day. Yeah. All right. Just get get her alkaline levels up. What do you put in the juice? Protein um, shakes. Uh, that I've, powder. Today we put um no no powder. We put some chia seeds in there today. Lots of greens, lots of fruits and veggies. Trying to be organic, but it gets expensive, you know. So. Mm-hmm. Looking up whatever. Does she get a little orange in there? Yeah, definitely. All right. What are the doctors I'm recommending? I'm giving her vitamin C supplements. The doctors don't recommend any of this stuff. This is all stuff you got to learn on your own and, and seek out from, uh, you know, people who know about it. Well, the doctors can't recommend anything because they don't. They need one more test. They can only recommend what they get paid to recommend by pharmacies. Are they going to, well, are they going to um, put you with a nutritionist? Uh, if she goes it. to Sloan Kettering, they will absolutely hundred percent. It's integrated medicine there, and they probably will end up putting her into Sloan Kettering because they have more. And you know what? We're going to probably anyway, even if they don't. So, uh, but they have integrated medicine there, and they do have nutritionists there, and 
And I told my doctor the, the things I was doing. And my doctor. I told Hamda's surgeon uh, uh, so far um, the things that I was giving her so far. And he's like, doesn't seem to be phased by it at all. But I think that at Sloan Kettering, they'll have more interest. All right. Hamda? Yeah. So tomorrow's the big day. Yes. All right. We're going to give you the results. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. How are you doing? How are you doing, Keith? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing, Keith? Yeah. I, I'm doing fine. Hinda ended up uh, on Libby's show <laughs> saying... Uh, uh, how the, about this uh, Lannis Morissette song that uh, makes her feel right? It, what's it called again? I would be Did if I, I w- could would be good, something like this. And I heard it today. It was very sad. I had to stop it. And really? it's about yeah that kind of no matter what's going on, she doesn't want to become a, not a good person. So mm-hmm. I have feelings. Look how healthy everyone yeah. around me is. Do you blame yourself, Hennessy, a little bit for using a microwave even for a <laughs> short period of time? <laughs> I blame you for that. <laughs> <laughs> the song is that I would be good by Alanis Morissette. Right. And it makes you weep no. like a baby. Oh, my God. Right? What? If I played it, would you cry right now? I already am. All right. So I'm done. Oh, my goodness. All right. Good. Oh, right. Tissues. Thank you, Libby. Well, I'm just staring at him. Well, Libby, the <laughs> tissues kind of take this away the tears. This is just for ratings. But... You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael, any final thoughts for Kanda? <laughs> Have a good life, right? <laughs> uh, uh, hearing this news now, do you regret uh, not playing the Taco Bell date right? <laughs> <laughs> what news? It's nothing new. <laughs> it's not new news. That I'm pre-grave. All right. Are you gonna? Are we you gonna... all are. Are you going to call me up tomorrow, Kenda, or are you going to make me wait like I'm some plub? We're going to make you wait. All right, that's rude, but okay. No, you I got to ask for it. FYI, mm-hmm. I'm not calling anyone. But me. No, you're yeah. going to have to reach out to me. Oh, God. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, we opened the elevator doors to the... Yeah, okay, I know, Hennessy. Then we got into the elevator. I know, <laughs> just pretend you're already there. Then what happened? But the what bottom is five things about the whole visit were... <laughs> <laughs> What's going to be the news? The news is going to be like, it's one of th- what, three that, things. Is it sticky? Is it self-contained? And then... Is you it don't, spread? Right, right. But you don't know... Like nobody thinks that it really spread yet, so really, we don't the, know. The, right? Okay, but but the next big thing is the chemo plan, right? So when do you go in and find the chemo plan? We don't like, know. But there's no appointment set. No. So after you get the results Thursday, they'll tell you. Then you go in. Okay, so now we'll set you up with this doctor, and then you know whatever. Yeah, we don't know. So, so really, there's no game plan past Thursday where they tell you the news. None right. at all. There's no expectation of. But you said you may not even be going uh, away for the weekend. Like that may just be. Well, I don't. Okay, so We're if keeping it open. if they're telling me on Thursday what's wrong, and they need to get me ready for something, and that means I can't go away, then that's what happens. Well, let me tell you what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. If you can't go camping, uh-huh. I'm bringing in one of those baby grills into the hospital room, mm-hmm. and we're cooking right there and then. I'll make a campfire. I don't give a shit. <laughs> All right? I'm down. All right. If you're allowed Taco Bell, you're allowed the uh, hamburger. <laughs> Tell you that much. No one's allowed Taco She's Bell. She's not allowed anymore. Not well, anymore. nobody should be allowed Taco no Bell shit. in this whole world. How is that food? It's <laughs> disgusting. It's delicious. I'd be... That, that's what should make you cry. Just you a like cheesy gordita shit. crunch. That's mm. all. No, even the commercials don't look good. When you can't make things look good in commercials, it's not even food, it's lard. Oh, the jizz balls. Yeah. Well, I keep forgetting about those. Uh, Hennessy, <laughs> the Twitter account. You can follow what's going on at Lauren Hennessy. Okay? Yep. Like and I said, uh, the co-host of the podcast, Kill Me Now with Judy Gold. You can see what's going on. Yeah, check out the show. It's, it's really good. You can hear uh, Judy berate me for an hour. <laughs> in front of celebrities. <laughs> uh, Michael Khalili, the Twitter account, is Michael approved. Yep. His new restaurant is on his roof. Call ahead. <laughs> uh, I usually have multiple tables unless it's a special event. <laughs> right. Leave him a six-star Yelp review. <laughs> if you want the New York franchise, that's that's cool. You Then you get the M&M experience if you're in L.A. or Hollywood, uh, in Hollywood. or. Uh, oh, do you hear this? But mm-hmm. the New York franchise might be closing soon. Oh, my God. So get in there. You should see the pictures, though. Go to KeithandTheGirl.com. Right. Well, <laughs> if if uh, the place burns down, yeah, it's I would think Kenda and Arson. Right. They were gonna put they were gonna put a, a massage table up there, right. poke holes through the roof, 
I got to deal with the, the, the rain coming in the roof after that. You know what? I wasn't even going to call you out on this, but yeah. here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. Michael thinks that the roof is so not ready for anything that we couldn't put. I was going to have a massage table. And I even That's brought nice. the robe from I home. I got a mis- I know. I saw your little bag. Yeah. I, uh, it's not a finished roof, though. It's not a finished you're roof. You're walking on the roof, and you, you, you're making indentations on it while you're Do walking you on it. Do you really think that the massage table would go through the roof? Did yeah, you already I think the, the massage table can actually puncture part of the roof. It's not going to go through the roof, and I'm going to see a, you know, I, the I've massage leg in my ceiling. experienced enough but, yes. roofs to know that that wouldn't happen, but I think your paranoia... Is worth. You uh, have a lot of faith in my landlord's maintenance of the building. And Michael doesn't when have I moved, faith. When I moved been on a lot in, of roofs. When I moved in, there was a waterfall in the um, stairwell because the roof was already leaking and damaged. I don't like anybody on my roof that had two gorditas, <laughs> let alone getting it laying down on a massage just one, table. Just one All right, just checking. All right. You were that close. I'm That's not paranoid true. to That's think true. that like the little leg of the massage table can start uh, ripping up the roof a little bit. I don't think. Well, let's see what the audience. Let's see what the audience. Oh my god, now. waiter, All shut right. up! Let's see what the, this is. How she treats the help, right? And how many waiters and 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 people do you have in your life that actually have this? And this is how you treat the, the help. The help don't call themselves Jeez. the help for the record. This is, but this is the way Hamdo refers to the help. This is the waiter. Oh my god, waiter. She never. She never said it's Michael. Really this- who assisted me? Oh my God, waiter! We have Wait, bo- your waiter has a name. Both of our parents are the same. Your like, waiter it's has not a like name. Half brother. Oh my God, at least Mr. Khalili or something, you know, or, or Michael, <laughs> you know, the waiter. I, I introduced myself as Michael when I when I came in right. to wait. I didn't say hi. I'll be your waiter. <laughs> You could address me as a waiter what and an animate what? object. I don't know. We're in his brain. He's doing a Mike Kaplan like swirl. I don't know. Is that He's not rude loop. to keep saying, "Ugh, waiter, shut up"? That's kind of weird, <laughs> isn't it? That's that's what I had to deal with that night. But I was cordial. I was polite. Right. Somebody You're married you. Yeah, that's right. She's Listen. like a good person. Am I? Is this weird? This is this is. I feel so like. Uh, how, yeah, totally. This is how you treat regular waiters know, when right? you go to restaurants. What the fuck? I'm surprised. I'm so surprised. See, this is how. This is really the way she's like when yeah, she goes she to is. restaurants. It's embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. But be, it's her time now, right? It's her time. Why? So whatever Chemda wants, Chemda gets. Well, it happened. I mean, it was a good, it was See? fun. You guys, did you guys have a lovely night? It was the best. Was it a five Thank star you night? So much, girl. It was really sweet. It Bye. Six stars. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs>